Let's start with hollow body holds. It is a very important exercise if you want to do any arm balancing position or just strengthen or condition your core in general. So lie down on your back for this. From here you lift your shoulders up. Make sure you are lifting your shoulders completely up and not just lifting your neck up. So lift it up completely from your shoulders. So once you are in this position you will already feel a little bit of engagement in the core. So if you see here you have a gap in between the back and the floor when you are lying down. So we have to eliminate that gap while doing this exercise. So now if I will engage my core that is I will just lift my shoulders up that gap will go away. So now there is no gap in between the back and the floor. So this is exactly what we want to do while doing this exercise. So lifted your shoulders up from here you will tuck in your legs inside for the start. So this is the basic hollow body tuck position. In the start just hold your legs as close as possible. Now as this gets easy you can slowly extend one leg of yours. Then just hold over here. Now if it gets easier you can extend both the legs of yours. But when you are extending make sure you are not extending towards the top or just touching it to the floor. Just keep it in between somewhere at a 30 degree angle and still make sure your shoulders are lifted up so that your core is tucked in and there is no gap in between your back. Now as even this gets easy you will slowly extend your hands backwards and look up and hold. Later on you can add weights in your hand and do hollow body raises. Let me give you one quick cue to understand the core engagement. So when you are engaging the core try to squeeze in your t-shirt so that is you are trying to get wrinkles in your t-shirt. Now your t-shirt is straight, slowly squeeze in your core and wrinkle it to engage your core. 